So we've recently introduced FUR3. FUR3 is, um, is different to FUR2. We have some um, uh, differences in the two models. Um, the differences are not massive, they're not uh, major. But what we've tried to do is we've, we've tried to introduce um, a clearer language uh, in some of the boxes on the flowchart and in the, um, in the rules of use um, to really reduce the uh, potential for misinterpretation of what some of the boxes mean. Uh, some of the things that we'd seen previously, people misinterpreting uh, the language in the boxes. We've also changed the language to try to reduce, wherever possible, unconscious bias. Some of the boxes, uh, potentially in the past, people were introducing bias. So we've changed the language to try to reduce that. Um, we're focusing far more um, in the booklet that goes alongside the model, far more on uh, the purpose of developing more effective interventions. Um, and we're trying to do introduce a greater focus on the non-judgmental aspects of FUR. Uh, of course, we still cover accountability and culpability. Um, that's one of the areas that many of our clients use it for. Um, but the, the, the focus for us is that's not the sole purpose and it's certainly not the primary purpose of, of FUR. Certainly not FUR 3. One of the other things as well that, that is discussed a lot is uh, root cause analysis uh, and understanding what root cause um, means and uh, we've tried to introduce um, a lot more discussion in that about root cause and uh, the complexities of human behaviour and uh, how simple trying to decide on a root cause is not always that helpful. The final point I'd like to say is that FUR2 and FUR3 are not a million miles away from one another. We've, we've clarified the language and made those changes I've just talked about. But it doesn't mean for those clients that are using FUR2 and are happy using FUR2, there's no reason to throw it away uh, and change the system. Everything that you're doing with FUR2, um, if it's working for you, is fine. Continue to use FUR2. We would, we would introduce the changes to FUR3 purely to help those clients that were struggling with some of the language.